Hello, thanks for stopping by to view. Demonstrating marketing across channel orchestration and customer relationship management systems. Featuring Oracle Marketing Cloud Responses and Salesforce by Put It Forward. The data story. Where does it begin and how does your organization experience the automation? Let's take a look at some common business scenarios. Cross-channel marketing and CRM systems, like Responses and Salesforce, have the ability to include a multiple of data fields, as well as campaigns, programs, content, managed lists of any kind. This can be surfaced and shown inside of leads, contacts, accounts, campaigns, or custom data and events inside of Salesforce. A wide variety of information can be integrated and shared. But where does it begin and how does your organization experience the automation? We have a huge pre-configured data network. Let's take a look at the dashboard. But before we do, I'm actually going to create a new account that will trigger a new campaign inside of Oracle Responses. Let's label this as Oracle Test Campaign. And let's go ahead and click Save. As I've now saved this account record, I can jump inside of the Put It Forward dashboard. Once I log in, we'll see that the dashboard has a wide variety of connectors through multiple applications. These are Oracle specific. From within the Put It Forward dashboard, I can connect any application inside of our data network. This includes the entire Oracle stack. I can make it active based on creation, notification on changes, or persist logs. This is good for rollback or migration. I can have every hour, every day, every month, custom or real-time integration between these two applications. I can set its schedule, or I can jump into the designer right away and begin plugging in different field mappings between these two applications. As I jump inside of here, I see that I have Salesforce. Let's go ahead and click this as the source, and let's set properties for Salesforce CRM. I select the application as well as the potential to select bulk or query. I enter in my credentials based on the domain, login, and password, as well an API key. I can select my parent data object or class. In this case, it's going to be account, but as you can see, there's a wide variety of fields that are necessary or could be necessary inside of your other business scenarios. Let's go ahead and click save and let's move on to these child or sub properties. This is going to be things like name, description, first name, last name, depending on the parent field type. We select these accordingly to what you are wanting to integrate. Selecting data is easy within the Put It Forward tool under the source selection. Once I've got what I want to integrate, let's go ahead and click Save. And from within here, I can select my destination properties. In this case, it's going to be Oracle Responses. Just the same as before, I enter my domain and login credentials. I enter in a test folder that I want this information to be integrated to. This is going to trigger an email campaign that will then be surfaced or shown inside of the test folder here inside of Responses. I've got my name, type and description, as well there are multiple fields from within here that can be selected. No matter the type of data inside of Oracle Responses, it can in fact be integrated. If there are other varieties of integrations or other data field types that you need to integrate, we certainly have the capability to surface those, so long as the Oracle Responses API allows you to do so. Once we're back inside of the Put It Forward Designer, I can now match my fields from Source Salesforce to Destination Oracle. As you can see here, I simply click and attach, click and attach. I now have my description and name. Now remember that Salesforce record that I created at the beginning? Now that this connector is put into place, it's going to trigger the event that will create that corresponding account from Salesforce into the creation of a new campaign under a specific test folder inside of Responses. Events and triggers of any kind can be complicated for a lot of vendor-supplied integrations or other enterprise integrations out there. This isn't the case with Put It Forward. As being the only true data network and only complex events processor out there, Put It Forward gives you the ability to use a number of different expressions to transform data from a data source so that it becomes compatible with and acceptable by your data destination. Expressions and formulas are plenty within Put It Forward and certainly help you to create that data and use it to manipulate it and place it in any position or destination that you will it to do so. Now that we've selected that connector to run and integrate this data, let's jump back inside of responses. From within here, we're going to want to make sure that the data and as well the configurations were met correctly. As you can see, we've now integrated our Oracle test campaign. It was created just seconds ago. This data has been integrated from Salesforce and inside of here. 
but let's actually jump into our folders and make sure that it has been integrated under the appropriate test folder account as we configured at the beginning. As you can see here under the selected test folders, that Oracle test campaign is there as well. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching. If there are any questions that you may have at any point in time, please feel free to visit our website or message us at the email addresses listed below. Thanks and have a great day.